Welcome to my class. Today we shall be learning about the criteria for selecting a computer system. I'm your presenter, Kalara Richard. Criteria for selecting a computer system we shall start with the hardware considerations. And the first thing you should consider when con uh, uh, buying or purchasing a computer system is uh, the processor type and speed. The processor is the engine of the computer system, and the faster the processor, a faster processor will enable the computer to operate on data faster than a slower processor. So, in this case, you should uh, look for the faster processor if you want to process your data fast. The computer memory capacity, the computer memory capacity is also another thing you should uh, consider, and in this case, if you have a, a computer that has a, a good memory capacity and uh, a processor which is uh, uh, relatively high, then your computer will be very fast in operating in the operation. So enough memory can undo every application and which this requires enough space in order to run. So the memory determines whether the operating system and the application softwares, which type of the operating system and the which uh, application softwares can be installed to your computer system. The warranty. Warranty is the agreement between the buyer and the seller in writing and it will spell out the terms and conditions after selling the product and in this case, in case of a failure or malfunction. A good warranty should cover the following points. Number one, the scope. The scope is the period, and in this case, is either in months, in years, or in days. So, either six months, one year, two years, three days, etc. Preventive maintenance for regular servicing at interval. So, you should have a preventive measures or maintenance in case of malfunctioning. The cost of computer will depend on uh, the processing capability and also whether the computer is branded or clone and its size. The processing capability, the higher the processing capability, the better. Branded computers are the ones which are, uh, come with all its components in compact while current computers are the ones that uh, are locally assembled. Its size, the, remember that last time we were dealing the size of the classification according to size, we said the, that the supercomputers are the fastest and they are the most expensive. So the size of the computer will also matter when it comes to the cost. Upgradability, this is the ability of the hardware part to be improved by installing better ones in future. Let's say you have a, a memory case, uh, that is a memory of a 2 GB and you want to improve it into a memory that can be bigger, let's say by including uh, another RAM or let's say you want to increase the storage space by adding another hard disk or uh, including an, an external hard disk etc. So upgradability in this case will help. User needs. You should consider what are your needs. Let's say the work you intend to do before buying the computer. Portability. If you are a person who is mobile, all, always in move, all you are, the kind of work you do requires you to move from one place to another. Let's say, for example, social workers, researchers. In this case, you require a laptop. Sectaries, all people who stay mostly in an office will require a desktop. So portability comes in case you consider a person moving from one place to another. That person will require a laptop for the mobile users. Monitor. In this case, it depends on the performance. The choice of the monitor may depend on the size, resolution, and the technology used on, on it. Let's say, for example, the flat panel displays are gradually replacing the CRT. So I would not expect someone 
and uh, the, this generation going to buy a CRT monitor instead of buying the latest gas plasma displays. Compatibility. The computer should be able to run functions with parts or components from other manufacturers. Let's say, for example, your mouse has um, broken down. You can be able to go and uh, purchase another mouse, let's say, from another company and still install it into your computer. When it comes to software considerations, the first thing you should consider is the authenticity of the computer. The authenticity, the genuineness, the validity, and also the legitimacy of the software. And when you buy software, make sure that it's original, that is genuineness, the valid, and also legal to be used within the country. Remember some softwares are illegal let's say the piracy softwares are illegal to be used that that is softwares that make pirate and copies those are illegal softwares validity that is a which is up to date not an outdated software documentation is also another thing you should consider and uh, under documentation it is a manual prepared by the developer having details on how to install, how to use, and also how to maintain your software. The user needs. The, once you, you want to purchase a software, make sure you consider the needs of the user and consider the kind of work you want to do before buying the software. User friendliness, check if the software is easy to use. And this is because users will prepare software which is easy to use and a software that is much more complicated. Cost. The cost of a software depends on whether the software is a, a freeware or a proprietary software or non proprietary. And in this case, you should consider how expensive the software is and its benefits the cost benefit to the work you intend to do always it's good not to rem to go for premium because most of them are malicious programs reliability and security data security is a paramount on each and every user a good software should come up with a ways and mechanisms that can protect data and information from illegal access. Portability. Portability of a software is different from portability of hardware because hardware you can it's a being able to move with the software from one place that is from with hardware from one place to another. While portability in software is the ability of the software to be run and installed in different computers where whereby some softwares are meant to be installed in one and only one computer so go for software which can be installed in many computers let's say for example there was some programs that uh, applications that you use in your computer I, I usually hear yes, some of you or some of uh, my students saying the to me whatsapp or send whatsapp to my phone that is now being portable, that is can be installed in more than one computer. Compatibility and upgradability, it is the ability of the software product to work with the existing operating system, all application programs, all even being able to be compatible with other programs that may be installed in the near future. So that marks the end of our class on the criteria for selecting a computer system remember you should select either hardware or software and they all both work and in and thank you